Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday, July 30th. It's 7.43 a.m. and I'm just about to leave for work. But I thought that I'd do a weekly vlog this week and show you all what I've been up to this summer since I haven't been in school. So I'm gonna grab my bag and head to work. So I made it to SJSU, it's 8.50, and I'm just about to walk to my office. There aren't any orientations today, so it's probably gonna be pretty quiet. So it's 5.03 now, and I just got done with work. It was actually a lot busier than I thought it would be, mostly just because two of my coworkers left last week, and it was just me and the manager and the assistant manager today. But we got a lot done, and now I'm gonna go home, and I might get a haircut on the way, because my sides are getting kind of long, and the top of my hair isn't really staying up that well anymore. So I just got off the bus and the hair cutting place was unfortunately closed. So I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow or Wednesday. So now I'm just gonna walk home and have some dinner. So I'm back home now and I just heated up some dinner. This is just some penne with tomato sauce and veggies and vegan chicken. I did a lot of meal prepping over the weekend. So I'm gonna be set for food pretty much all week. So I'm just gonna put some nutritional yeast on this. If you haven't tried this before, I would highly recommend getting it. It just gives a really nice, almost cheesy flavor to things. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on for a swipe. I've already had this three times in the last three days. It's really good and easy to make and cheap. So if you wanna make this, just cook some pasta, add your favorite sauce, add some veggies and some vegan chicken or tofu. Then just add some nutritional yeast on top and you'll have a really nice and good meal. So I'm gonna eat this and catch up with you all later. So it's a bit later now and I've just been working on a social media plan for a client because I started doing social media consulting again and I'll hopefully be getting my official business license soon. The name of my company is just Monica Mound Consulting. I know, very original. I'm not taking clients right now because I'm already really busy with my on-campus this job but I'll let you all know when I'm taking clients in the future so I'm just gonna finish working on this and catch up with you all later so it's after 10 p.m. now and I'm just about to go for a run and after that I'm just gonna shower and go to bed so I'll talk to you all tomorrow so it's the next day now I didn't end up vlogging after my run but I did complete the Nike 50k July challenge so it's my third month in a row of doing the 50k challenge and now I'm just at SJSU for work it's an orientation day today so it's probably gonna be really busy but I'm hopefully gonna get to meet some of you and that's my favorite part about orientation so I'm gonna go walk to my office and I'll catch up with you all later so I just got done with work. It was a pretty busy day and I got to meet a lot of you. So shout out to everyone who recognized me from YouTube at orientation. Then we were working on some emails for the fall and trip plans. And then the fire alarm went off, but thankfully it was a false alarm. So we got to go back inside. So I'm gonna leave now and try to get my haircut again. Hopefully they're not closed this time. So the haircutting place was open and I got a haircut. And this is what it looks like. This isn't how I usually style it, but I think it'll look really good when I style it myself tomorrow morning. So now I'm just gonna walk home. So I'm back home now and I made myself my favorite food for dinner. This is a berry mango and spinach smoothie bowl. And I just topped it with some granola and chia seeds. I know this probably seems like a weird dinner food to some of you, but I absolutely love eating this for dinner. This is my first bite. I have a little bit of everything. This is so good. I know this isn't a typical dinner food for most people, but give it a try and make yourself a smoothie for dinner or any meal. It tastes absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna finish this now and maybe do something later. So I'm outside now with some special friends that some of you might have seen on my Instagram. This is Howie and this is Eva and they both really wanna go into the living room, but they can't because my dad's allergic to them. Where are you guys going? Howie, where are you going Howie? He always looks to walk down here for some reason, even though the gate is always closed. Say hi to the vlog. Are you scared of the vlog? So it's quite a bit later now. It's about 10 p.m. And I have to wake up at 5.50 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to take a shower and try to go to sleep. And I'll see you all bright and early tomorrow morning. So it's the next day now. It's about 6.45 a.m. And I'm just about to leave for a doctor's appointment in Burlingame. I woke up about an hour ago, so I'm really tired. But I'm going to grab my bag and leave in a few minutes. I just left the doctor's office and I'm walking back to the train station to go to work. So I'm back in San Jose now and I'm in a library study room. I'm pretty sure that a truck was going by when I was trying to talk after my doctor's appointment. So I'm just gonna say what I said again. I went to the same doctor that I went to in my spring break vlog and that was around the time when I was dealing with everything with my insurance. So I explained how the insurance situation ended up being solved to my doctor and he said that I probably know more about insurance now than some of his patient's parents. So I thought that was pretty funny. I think it's important to learn from some of the difficult situations that you have to go through in life. My appointment was at nine and it's now about 11 30 so it was quite a journey to go there and back but i've honestly had a lot of bad experiences with doctors and other medical professionals in the past so i still go up to burlingame and see the doctor that i saw when i was living in redwood city a few years ago i know that doctors and dentists and therapists can be really expensive especially without insurance obviously i have insurance now but even when i didn't i was still going to my appointments because i think it's important to catch things before they become really serious problems i know that going to a concert might be a little bit more exciting than going to the dentist or doctor but i just really want 
want to encourage all of you to make your health a priority. So I'm going to have some lunch now and then head over to work. I always pack myself a lunch for work or school because it's way cheaper and probably healthier than buying something on campus. So I guess I'll show you all what I brought for lunch. First thing that I have is a sandwich with some hummus and veggies and it's just on a wheat pita. And then I have some strawberries and some apple slices in this really cool stasher bag. Stasher bags are just silicone bags that you can open and close. I've been using these for about four or five months and they're a lot better for the environment than plastic bags. And you can reuse them and wash them in the dishwasher. So definitely check these out. You can get them on the stasher bag website or Amazon or Target. So I'm gonna eat my lunch now and I'll probably talk to you all after work. So I just got back home from work and our new couch got delivered. It looks a little bit more white than it actually is on camera. I think this is probably gonna get dirty in about a day or two. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But this is what full view looks like. It's a lot bigger than the other one. So I'm sitting on the new couch right now and it's pretty comfortable. We also got these pillows. I think it probably came with it. But now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and then probably make some dinner. It's 10.15 p.m. now. And I've just been working on some stuff for the PRSA website because our first meeting is at the end of this month on Tuesday, August 28th at 6 p.m. in DPH 117. So if you go to SJSU and you're at all interested in public relations, please come because PRSA is an amazing organization. So now that I'm done with this, I'm gonna go for a run and then take a shower and go to bed because I'm really tired from waking up at 5.45 this morning so i'll see you all tomorrow so it's the next day now i know that i said in the last clip that i was really tired and i was gonna go to bed but i actually didn't end up sleeping until about 1 a.m last night because the smoke detectors were beeping and the batteries had to be replaced but i'm really excited today because i'm getting my first immunotherapy shot so i'm just gonna grab my bag and head to the clinic right now so I just got my first shot and everything went really well. I'm gonna be posting a video all about immunotherapy before this, so if you haven't already watched that, it'll be linked in the description. And now I'm just gonna go to CVS and then I'm gonna go to work. So I went to CVS and I got some liquid Zyrtec because my doctor told me to get that just in case I have an allergic reaction to the shot because he said that this works a lot faster. They only had the children's liquid in stock, so that's what I got. This is strawberry mint flavor. It seems like a really weird combination, but they're sold out of everything else. So this was my only option. They're actually sold out of a lot of different types of allergy medicine because I guess everyone in Cambrian Park has pretty bad allergies now. I had the same exact thing as yesterday, so I didn't film it, but now I'm going to go to work. So I'm back home now. I just had dinner and I'm feeling really tired. Tired, so I think I'm gonna lie down for a little bit and then try to do some work. So it's quite a bit later now I just edited and scheduled a video for tomorrow. This will already be up by the time you're watching this. But it was basically just a video about getting my first immunotherapy shot and answering some questions that I've been asked about immunotherapy. But I'm getting really tired now so I'm probably just gonna take a shower and then go to bed. So I'll see you all tomorrow. So it's the next day now, it's Friday and I'm just about to leave for work. And we have transfer orientation today which is usually our biggest orientation of the week because a lot of transfers are commuters and they live in the area and they want to know about transportation. So I'm just gonna grab my bag and head to work. So I'm back home now. Orientation was pretty busy, but it was also a lot of fun. And I got to meet some of you guys, which was really awesome. But now I'm just working on some name change paperwork for people because I help people with California name change paperwork for free. I'm not going to show you all what I'm doing because I don't want to leak anyone's addresses or personal information. It usually takes me about a half hour to an hour per person, but I really love doing this because I know that it really helps people out. So I'm going to finish these up and I'll catch up with you all later. So it's quite a bit later now and we went to a vegan restaurant in San Jose called the Happy Hooligans. We shared the pesto fries and I got got jackfruit enchiladas, which were really, really good. And they also had vegan cupcakes, so we decided to get some. This one is double chocolate, this one is carrot cake, and this one is golden Oreo. So I'm here with my dad, and we're about to try some vegan cupcakes. Which one are you most excited to try? Probably the double chocolate. I'm most excited for the carrot cake. That's my absolute favorite flavor of cake right now. First one I'm gonna cut is the carrot cake. That's what it looks like. I've got my piece. Yeah, let's taste it. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Smell it. It's got a lot of it. Mm -hmm. What does that smell? Is that nutmeg? Or is that cinnamon? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow, this is really good. Wow. Do you think it has a nut in it? Yeah, it has walnuts in it. There's something crunchy. Yeah. It's really good. If you like carrot cake, you'll like this. It doesn't even taste vegan or anything. It just tastes like good carrot cake. I and mean, the thing you would worry about, right, is the cream cheese. But it tastes like cream cheese. Yeah, I think it's made out of cashews. What's your verdict on it? I'm gonna go with two thumbs up because, I mean, it's really good. It tastes better than it tastes better than a normal, a normal carrot cake. Just a really well-made carrot cake. Seems like it was pretty freshly prepared. So, ten out of ten for me. It has a lot more spices, and yeah. um, it tastes very holiday-ish somehow. Yeah, this is what the golden Oreo one looks like. As you can see, it's really tall. It's tall and. I think it's tall because it has all this 
fluffy white stuff in the middle, which I'm guessing is supposed to be like an Oreo filling. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good, pretty tall, a lot of stuff on the top. You gotta smell it first. Whoa. Whoa. It smells like Oreos. Of course the cookie mm. tastes like Oreo. I'm actually gonna try the white part separately before the cake. Wow, this tastes exactly like a golden Oreo. This is wow. so amazing. This tastes like this tastes like the filling of an Oreo cookie. Well, it is a little bit cashewy. The cream cheese in these is made out of cashews, um, but it's, it's really good. It tastes exactly like a golden Oreo, so if you like golden Oreos, you would definitely like it. These guys killed it. Does this restaurant make these, or I think they bring no, them in? they get them from, let me look up the name of the shop. We bought these at the Happy Hooligans restaurant, but they're made by Prickly Pear Bakes. Just at Prickly Pear Bakes on Instagram if you want to follow them. I'm going to compare those two before we go to the double chocolate. I think the carrot cake to me was really authentic. I think this this Oreo, it was surprisingly tastes like an Oreo, but it is a little cashewy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... I thought it was really good. I definitely like carrot cake more, but... Carrot cake was better. But, I mean, I, but think, they're, they're both, I think they're, they're both, both excellent. really excellent. Both Some of the excellent. best cupcakes that I've had in a while. So now let's try the double chocolate. Okay, we're gonna go double chocolate. First of all, it's again, it's pretty high. It's got a lot of um, icing on top. This is what it looks like. Looks like a pretty classic chocolate cake. I can smell it from here. Let's give it a try. I already know this is gonna have to require a fork. Mm -hmm. Mine had crunchy stuff. Yeah. What was that? Some nuts. Nuts, okay. It's a really nice rich chocolate flavor. I really like it, 10 out of 10 for me. What about you? I think it's excellent though. My favorite's the carrot cake. I also think the golden Oreo is, is pretty cool how they pulled that off. The cream in the middle tastes like a regular Oreo cream. So I would rate it slightly ahead of the chocolate one, but they're both excellent. Yeah, my favorite was the carrot cake too. It was so good. It's just like a perfect carrot cake. So those are our thoughts on these vegan cupcakes. If you do want to check out the place where we got them from, I'll put the address in the description. So it's a bit later now and I'm just about to go for a run and take a shower and go to bed because it's been a long week and I'm really tired, but I'll see you all tomorrow morning. So it's Saturday now and I'm here with Henry and we're going to the Exploratorium in San Francisco because he has to go for a school project. Oh, there. There. building right now. Henry's having some salad and I'm having some overnight oats. this kaleidoscope thing. There's so many of us. So we just left the Exploratorium. It's a lot cooler than I remembered it being. I haven't been there in a few years, so now we're just going back to BART so that we can go home. station and we're heading home. The Exploratorium was really awesome. We haven't been there in a few years but it was really cool. They have a lot of new exhibits so I would highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area.
So I'm back home now and I just made myself some dinner. I made a vegan scrambled egg from the brand Follow Your Heart with some spinach, onion powder, garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. And then I have a multi-grain English muffin with some of this really awesome vegan cream cheese from the brand Miyoko's Kitchen. And then I have some cantaloupe. They're doing buy one, get one for cantaloupe at my local Safeway. So I cut one up yesterday. I still have this other one left to cut up, but Henry and I really like cantaloupe, so we will probably eat it. But I'm just gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll catch up with you all later. So it's almost midnight now and I've just been editing this vlog. Watching everything back has really made me realize how much really happened this week. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you did this week down in the comments below. I love you all so much. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.